Hello, everyone. This is Alcatar, and welcome to Life After Us, the system. It's suggesting that I turn the lights out, but hell no! Now, this is a good looking game. Dang, okay, so. Okay, I can jump. I'm a dude running around in a abandoned hospital. Looking for a young woman who has gone missing. I've been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I've been told the girl is in her late twenties, but due to her mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium, where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl and return her safe. Guaranteed. Can I knock knock? I see there's a room back there. Can I get in? No? Okay, fine. Sup, beardos? Okay. That's an interesting organization system for discarded beds. Thought I saw a person in here for a second. Oh, goodness! Right. <laughs> Mr. Teddy should be here. I don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy. He's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. Find Mr. Teddy. A lot of miscellaneous refuse, a lot of candy wrappers. Something under a burlap. Sack. More burlap. Alright, back out here. Anything else that I can find around here, or should I just start looking for Mr. Teddy? Um, or, or perhaps other blood-stained messages of journal- oh, hello! Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not being a proper young woman. She says I'm acting like a child. But I am only a child. She gets so mad when I say that. This place is strange. What's... What does it say? Oh, it just says express. I thought it might be something pertinent or horrifying or something like that. Okay, let's head back down this hallway, then. See what else can be... found. I am already slightly freaked out by the aesthetic, and there's very faint ambient music as well that just... Absolutely wonderful, yes. Yes, good, yes. Okay, another letter first, and then we will see Teddy. Dr. Tar told me to meet him in his office and said not to tell anyone. He put his hands on me and he touched me and smiled. I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of an examination to make me feel better. All right, please tell me we get to t hit Dr. Tar in the head with a baseball bat. Or anywhere else with the baseball bat. Just a lot of baseball bat. Baseball bat for Dr. Tar. Express delivery up the nose. Nope, nowhere else to go there. I found Mr. Teddy. What do I do with Mr. Teddy then? Do I put him back at next to the bed? Do I? Is that what I do? <gasps> oh. Doom? I black out, and upon awakening I find myself still in the asylum. But something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me, and I feel as if I am not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Oh, good. Oh, that's... that's... 
Okay, that's actually a pretty good... Il illustrates an understanding of shading and intensity. Dr. Ta told me I'm very pretty and then not, that I'm not a girl. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a woman. Dr. Tar is going to be covered in intense boot prints. And, of course, blood by the time I'm done with him. See, I'm not scared right now. Mostly I'm just fucking mad. Also, damn, this is a... Hi! Okay! He wants me to be pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Jesus. Are, th are those actual, like, human limbs? Oh god, somebody went and act tacked actual human limbs onto the fucking... Seamstress's mannequin. Crap. Dr. Ta came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty. And then he got in the bed and on top of me. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. He visits me every night now. I'm assuming there's supposed to be a head on that mannequin that I'm looking for, but right now I'm mostly just being fuck this Dr. Tar motherfucker. Fuck, fuck, fuck it. Fuck, fuck. Ooh. Nice. Back to grumbling. Fuck. Fictional characters. Oh, this is where I came at. I just know something is going to pop out at me. And I'm going to despise it with all of my heart, but that won't stop it from happening. Because I'm really hoping that this game is better than jump scares. I will squeal. I will squeak. I will scream. And I will be scared by the jump scare. But I won't be horrified. Or angry at the general state of the universe where we can have a story that... I just... Yeah, I also kind of wish that... I th I, that it, then again, stories... Hoping it's, it's above jump scares, but... It wasn't above rape, is it? Hey! What the? Oh, I thought... Was it just a noise? I guess it was just a noise. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. Yeah, I was trying to say, I was hoping this, this game was above jump scares, but story they weren't above using rape as a plot element, so. Eh. 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 General angry noises. I told the doctor I keep getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him that he hit me in my belly. For fuck's sakes. Really? Is that where we're going with this? Oh my god. Oh hey there! Okay, skull with hair. I'm assuming that that's what's going to make the mannequin pretty. Can I- there. Oh! Okay. Alright then. You're- you're- you're well- Hey! 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 What the- Once more I awake in this place that can only be hell on earth. There's something holding me here. It will not let me leave and something much worse is looking for me. I must find the girl and escape this hell. 
Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Now I'm just now I'm just getting madder. I'm not getting scared. Or, I'm just getting more and more angry. <laughs> but if I actually have to like react and run and fight, I'm just gonna flail myself into something into the face of whatever's trying to kill me it's not going to be very effective right that's as it was anything over here still nothing over here I'm assuming that doors are opening every time I wake up. And that that was Dr. Tar that got me earlier. I'm starting to suppose that he probably killed everybody in here and let the place go to shit just to keep anyone from finding him. Oh, hey there. He took my baby. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Dr. Tar stopped coming to visit me at night once he took my baby. He took him. He said I can't have it because it was a mistake. He took my baby boy and put him in a box. I could hear my baby scream as he set fire to him. I want my baby. Oh, fuck you, Dr. Tar! God damn it. This is just... He took my baby, he burns, he burns, etc., etc. Fucking hell. Hey, 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 What the fuck? No, what are you doing? Why? Oh god, I gotta juke it, don't I? Oh god, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ugly motherfucker. He burns. Okay. Um, my baby was crying when Dr. Ta put him in the box, but the crying soon stopped when he set him on fire. I hate Dr. Ta. I hate him. Yeah, I hate him too. I need something to stab him with, though. Is he still over there? Is he still here? He's gone already? Jesus. That didn't take long. Oh, I sp I'm supposed to take the baby. Okay. It's a baby with a skull on it. Perfect. Where am I supposed to put the baby? Am I supposed to put it back in the bed there? I supposed to put it in her bed? Where, where, what do I do with the baby? I don't know what to do with babies. I'm bad at taking care of babies. Please tell me. Give me somewhere that is not my arms to put this baby. This baby is not safe while it is in my care. The shit. What the shit was that? What did I do to you? God, my throat hurts, but it's just like... Oh god, that is... Ugh, god damn it. Feels like... More, more like I've been... Like, barking orders at people all day rather than... I am terrified out of my mind and squeaking because of it or anything. He burns... Do I gotta put the baby in the box? I gotta put the baby in the box. I now understand the horror this young girl went through while she was here. Such pain and suffering. To have been raped by such a monster and to have a child taken away only to be burned alive. Why should- why would she come back? I must find her if we are to escape. But before we do that, I'm actually going to end this here. 
Yes. <laughs> mm, I need to take a second to chill. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you want to want to see me play through the rest of this. I think that maybe one more part will do it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feedback is always appreciated. Continue being excellent. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.